guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is super exciting and I have to make this intro super quick because I'm running late right now. So I'll just tell you guys the news. I'm getting my hair done today and I am so freaking excited. It's been a little while for me since I've got my hair done. You guys know it's just all dark brown and I haven't done anything with it in a little while now. So I'm really, really excited. And I'll show you guys some pictures of what I'm doing, but I'm running late right now and I wanna make sure I have enough time to stop at Starbucks. Here's the fit. I know I'm gonna be at the hair salon for a while, so I just decided to go with something comfortable. So I'm just wearing my Adidas Swift Run sneakers and my Lululemon Align leggings. This black ribbed bra top is from Urban Outfitters. And then my crop denim jacket is from somebody. So 1129. But I probably would actually throw is there any possible way? I'm so sorry. Would you be able to pour a little bit of this out and just add more almond milk? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I added a little bit more to that one as well. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. You too. I hate doing that, but I know if I don't have them add more almond milk, I won't drink it. So it's like I waste a whole venti iced coffee or I just ask them to add more. Okay guys, I'm back home from the hair salon, so you're about to see my new hair. Get ready. Here is the final product. I am so obsessed, you guys. It is the perfect color that I wanted. I wanted to do a balayage, but I wanted it to be an ashy blonde instead of like a yellowy caramel blonde because in the past when I've done like balayage or ombre, I've always had the blonde like more on the yellower side. So I had her tone the hell out of it and it looks so, so good. And then I also had a little trim. Here's a little bit of a better look at it so you guys can see the blonde all throughout. So we were gonna go a little bit lighter. Like initially I wanted all of the bottom to be blonde for the most part but she didn't want to completely fry my hair because I did just go from having it dark brown and then taking it all the way to a really light ashy blonde would have been bad for my hair. So my hair still feels super soft and healthy after bleaching it. She put a little treatment on it and if you guys don't know the person who does my hair actually owns a hair salon and it's Chad's cousin. I just recently started going to her and she's amazing at hair so... Yeah, she did such a good job. I'm so happy. I also picked up some more shampoo and conditioner. The last time I was there, she had me try the Maria Nilla shampoo and conditioner, and I'm literally obsessed with this stuff. Not only is it great for color-treated hair, but it's vegan and cruelty-free, and it's got really clean ingredients, and now I have two liters. So it's a little bit later now. I just got finished going through all of my inventory for Sun Bunny, and I think I have everything all set to go for this Friday. There's lots of exciting stuff coming this Friday, so make sure you guys are on there at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, because stuff sells out really quick and then everybody asks if I'm gonna restock and a lot of times I want to restock something but the vendor no longer has it so that's the struggle with running a boutique oftentimes the amount of items that you get are limited quantity so shop while you can I had to put glasses on again today because apparently my eyes are like going backwards I was doing really good for a while with contacts and now I can't seem to make a full day so I don't know what that's about. But Chad and I are about to go grocery shopping and try to beat the rain that is on its way. We're about to get a really bad storm, it looks like. So hopefully we can beat the rain because I really don't want to be caught up in that.
We are back home. I just finished putting all the groceries away and now I'm sitting here eating this delicious watermelon that Chad just cut up for me. I decided to actually buy half a watermelon and just cut it up because it's so much cheaper. But I love the convenience of the little bowls of watermelon that are already cut up. But Chad cuts it up for me. Why do I care? My package just came in full of Cricut stuff. I got the Easy Press too because I wanted to start creating some t-shirts. So I got a black vinyl and a white vinyl. I also got some sticker paper. This is the clear kind. So I thought this would be really fun to do some stuff with Sun Bunny. Some sticker paper so that I can create some more Sun Bunny stickers and give them out with some orders because I love doing that. And then I just got some t-shirts to play around with with the Easy Press. This is going to be so much fun. So I'll definitely show you guys when I start playing with the Easy Press. So I just got finished checking my emails and I'm all caught up on that. And I wanna take a second to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is sponsoring my video today and I've worked with them a few times now. If you guys don't know, they're an all-in-one platform where you can build a website, a portfolio, a blog, just about anything that you might need, you can use Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest platform to build a website on because everything is super user-friendly. They really take the guesswork out of search engine optimization because when you're first starting out a website, it's very difficult to get your website noticed on the internet and they have great SEO tools. The Squarespace platform makes social sharing super easy, which is also another very important factor in today's day and age. So if you guys are looking to start a website, make sure you go to squarespace.com slash Melissa Lucy. There'll be a link in the description to save 10% off your first website or domain. And thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. I have an exciting update for you guys about work because I swear to you, it is like my most frequently asked question these days is, oh my gosh, do you still work at the ER? When are you gonna be working in the ER? Do you still work at the ER? Did you quit your job at the ER? So many of you guys are just like so concerned about that and yes, I have not worked there in a while. I was part time, but then when I was taking Chem 1 in the spring semester, it just got to be too much, so I dropped down to PRN. And then with this whole pandemic situation and taking my accelerated Chem 2 class over the summer, I just haven't worked a whole lot, but I'm actually working a 12 hour shift tomorrow and I haven't been in there in forever. So it should be fun. Hopefully I still know how to start an IV, but <laughs> I'm totally kidding about that. Those kind of skills are like riding a bike. It just like immediately comes back to you. Another day, another haul or unboxing of some sort because I have a problem and I'm only ever happy if I have something that I'm expecting in the mail. It's a real problem. But I got a very, very good primer that I am so excited to show you guys. I used my Sephora Rewards to get the miniature version just to try it out. And I literally love it so much. It works so good. It smells amazing. It's hydrating. And it's just all around like my most exciting discovery right now. So I have to show you guys. I got some stuff from Glow Recipe because I just redeemed some of my points for this like little watermelon set. So I'll let you guys know about this. I've actually been wanting to try this watermelon glow sleep mask for a while. So I'm very excited to try that. Once I saw that they had it as an option to redeem your points, I was like, yes, please. So the primer that I got, this was the best find ever. So it's the Dior Backstage Primer. I don't know why I had never heard of this before. And then I got the miniature one and I was like, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? And the packaging is so cute. It's like this matte nude color. That is a very interesting applicator and it's a lot different than the little sample. But I am so excited to have the full size of this. It literally smells so fancy. I just can't even tell you. Okay, so what else did I get? A couple of samples, of course. And then I got a new face wash that's open. Hopefully it's okay. Um, I don't know how to say this. Ole Henriksen? I don't know. It's like a brightening face wash. So it's the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It had good reviews, and I believe this is one of the Clean by Sephora brands. So I always try to shop those ones if I can because... I would rather get things that have clean ingredients. And then because I love the Other Ordinary Serum that I got so much, but I told you guys it's like a little bit too oily for me to use before my makeup, like in the mornings, I can really only use that one at night. I decided to get one that I could use in the morning. And this is like their standard, most popular formula, I believe. But I really like this brand and they have like the best price point ever. These are so affordable. And then I got some samples of this Kate Somerville Selectic Acid Acne Treatment. Now I don't have acne, but occasionally I do break out with like a pimple or I get a little bit down here on my chin and that would be like the perfect time to use like a spot treatment. And then I just got something from Nasty Gal. I haven't shopped with them in a while. I really only went on there because I was looking for some linen high-waisted pants. 
and then it's got a couple of other little things like this white tank that's ribbed and it has like a little cutout in the middle this looks really tiny though like how are my boobs gonna fit right here without coming out down here <laughs> we'll see about this one and then i don't even remember what this is oh yeah it's this really cute bandeau top and it's like this neutral green color you guys know i'm like all about neutrals like i don't know who color is anymore the most color that i get is in like some denim jeans or something and then the last thing which is the real reason that i actually went on nasty gal was to buy these they are linen trousers wide leg super super trendy right now i can't wait to try these on and they have like a little pretty button and a zipper and they actually look like they're gonna fit me pretty well so that is it for my little haul i think chad and i are gonna start making dinner in just a second and i'll show you guys like my nightly routine before work which obviously i have not had to do in a while but i do have a little bit of a routine when it comes to like packing my lunch and getting everything for that together as well as my uniform and my work bag and all of that we're about to make dinner but first i am going to make some overnight oats I just opened this applesauce to eat while I am about to make dinner, but I left a little bit left in there for Trooper. Is it like a little pup cup? I think he likes applesauce. This is good. Mmm. Now I'm gonna give Stetson a pumpkin health bar. You ready for your health bar, Stetson? Paul. Cooking us up some garlic butter shrimp. I've shared this with you guys before, but in case you didn't see it, I will show you again. Um, so I'm just melting some butter, as you can see, and we're getting some water boiling, and we're gonna make this red lentil penne to go with it. Just added in the pasta that's gonna cook for like seven minutes. I also added a little bit of olive oil to this and that's all so far. We're about to throw the garlic in now. Adding in some pepper, basil, So once the shrimp looks good and cooked, we're going to add the noodles in and mix everything together. Perfect. Mix all of it together. You can use regular noodles if you want. I just prefer the red lentil, which I think I've talked about that before, like red lentil or chickpea, just because it's not as like heavy. It doesn't make you feel terrible afterwards. Like, carbs usually do. Here's what the final product looks like. I just topped it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and it's ready to go. So I usually just set my clothes out for work the night before, shirt, pants, and then my cap, because we have to cover our hair right now. We also have to wear an N95, a mask, and goggles all day. And of course, my work badge, which allows me to scan into the ER as well as the ER bay when I come in in the morning. And then this is my work bag. There's really not much in there. I think there's like an umbrella, some chapstick, and then I really just carry this bag so that way I can put my water bottle in it in the morning and my planner. I'm about to pack my lunch. I'm just going to make a sandwich. So here's my lunch for tomorrow. I just made a little sandwich, and then I filled up this with watermelon and pineapple. I have some triscuits to go with my sandwich, a fig bar, these in case I want something sweet, and then this is my overnight oats, one of my sparkling waters, and then I'll fill this bottle up with water in the morning. That is my food for 12 hours tomorrow.